Radio Show. We're here with Tony Elwood and Paul Barrett yeah. of the film right. Cold Storage and uh, also Synthetic Fur Correct, yes. Productions. Okay. And uh, let's talk about your experience today uh, at Film Courage. I mean, you'd been on our show previously, but it was right. via Skype. So, Tony, you got to sit in and Paul, unfortunately, you had to sit in the waiting room because we're only allowed to have a certain amount of people in the studio. Um, how was it to be here live? It was. It was actually very. It was very good, you know, because you guys are very interactive. It's interesting to see how you play off each other. Um, you know, it's it's nice being around people when someone's asking you a question because you can tell if they're sincere or not. Um, you know, I, I I felt really comfortable being here, and, and it's it's a very nice, very polished setup. Um, it's just uh, you guys do a really good job. I'm really, really proud of what you what you're doing here, and just glad to be a part of it. So. And, and I enjoyed sitting out here and listening to it and, and <laughs> commenting on my iPad. <laughs> Very cool. But you guys really are like puppet masters in there. It's amazing how you're able to you know pull all this stuff off. I mean, I was just floored. You know, I thought you'd have like a team of like you know a hundred people running around, and it's you know, you, you guys sit down and it's like, you know, mission control and bang, you know, it just all sort of comes together. So it's a re really nice job. Thank you. Very professional. Thank you. Now, a few minutes ago, uh, we were talking about, uh, I think it was your first film, right. and uh, you mentioned how you went ahead and um, tried to sell it yourself right. by going around to different mom and pop stores, right. um, and you had the film on VHS tape. Can you right. tell us about that? Yeah, uh, my first film I, I shot on uh, a very low budget film called Killer. And um, it was it was back in I guess it was like 80, 84. 84, yeah. So 80, um, 80, no, 89. 89. Sorry. Thank you, Bob. 89. And you know the way the distribution model worked back then was there there were a lot of video stores. I mean, everywhere you could look, there was a video store. It's kind of like Starbucks now. And um, and what I would do is I, I actually duplicated the things myself. I had the boxes made myself. I shrink wrapped them myself. And I would throw them in the trunk of my car and I would spend two weeks just driving around from town to town within, uh, I, I live in North Carolina, so I went you know, from Virginia to West Virginia to Atlanta and the South Carolina area. And I hit every single mom and pop video store. And I'd walk in and I would, you know, usually you just get the person who works there. You know, they, they have no clue what you're talking about and you leave a sell sheet or something like that. But, but the thing about it was, is a lot of times, you know, the person who owned the store was there, you know, and I would just sit there and I would, I had that one-on-one -on -one contact with them and then I, I could almost not, not force them to buy my film, but they saw the enthusiasm that I had about my film and they needed content. And here I was making with a content decision maker, you know, whereas today you don't have that opportunity. There, there is no one-on-one, -on -one, unfortunately, uh, at, at, you know, with, with the way things are changing uh, now. But, uh, but I did do, I did really, really well, and I'm hoping that someday some kind of new technology will come along to sort of replace that experience where, you know, it's the filmmakers are, you know, they have the, you know, the one-on-one -on -one experience with where you're able to, you know, someone's watching your movie, and you can, like you guys did with your, with your film chat, I thought that was brilliant, you know, you could ask questions, you know, you could see, you had the movie, uh, you know, available right there for people to, to download and watch. It was just a, it was just a really nice interactive fun forum, and I just think that's uh, the future. Very nice. Now the two of you uh, have worked together for several years. Is that right? Okay. Now, how do you two delegate responsibilities to one another? Because I know in any team, there's probably one that's really good at social media, whereas the other one's more proficient at getting things done behind the scenes. Is that the case with the two of you? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Tony's Tony's the more, I mean, we're both creative, but Tony's more creative in the sense of the actual physical production of it. I handle more of the uh, the money and making sure that things are done on time and on, you know, on budget and that Tony gets what he needs, but at the same time that we do it within the money we have because, you know, you can't have 20Ks and five cranes and six cameras if you've only got $100,000 to spend. <laughs> So that, that sort of is more my department, whereas Tony handles, and the actors, and just all the things that a director does. But he, he also handles the producing aspects simply from a, um, from a more creative end of it. Who, you know, who the DP is going to be, who the, the talent is going to be. And then I just handle everything beyond that. And as far as the social media, and the, I mean, you guys know I'm on Twitter all the time. I talk to you guys. I talk to everybody else. Tony Tony has logged into a Twitter account, but hasn't been on it since. I use it once. <laughs> yeah, I so. use it once. And and some of that comes down to time. I mean, yeah. that's that's sort of part of what I do, 
with the time I have, whereas if Tony has yeah. free time, he's either working on the next script or creating something in the computer, yeah. or he's off doing his hobby, which is rock hounding. So. <laughs> but, you know, it's like every second I have that, that, you know, of course, you know, we all have day jobs to a certain degree, and, um, you know, every free second that I have, I'm, I'm either creating content for my next film or I'm creating marketing materials for my current film, Cold Storage. So, you know, I, I really have no time to waste. And Paul's really good about taking that content and getting it out there on the internet, sharing it with people and, and getting interest. And, um, you know, and so it's a, it's a good relationship because I don't have time for that and he doesn't have, he doesn't have the skills to do the, 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 uh, the marketing pieces that I do. I have the artistic talent of a rock. <laughs> I'm an okay writer, but as far as art, yeah, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, he's, he's a good